Hey guys, what's happening? So, different place today about my cabin upstairs. And ever since I bought this cabin, the skylights always bug me. So it's pretty cool at nighttime, you can see all the stars. This is, this is Big Bear, California. So the stars are incredible up here. You don't have any light from the city. But the issue is, as you can see, first early morning light, it's right in your face. Um, yeah, then it fades out the stuff. So what I wanted to do is uh, I bought this shade from Home Depot. Get in there and I put in a track light, but I'm really out of breath up here just because the altitude's so high. And usually the first day we get up here, it takes like a day to adjust to it. And I bought some uh, like T-bar. Like drop ceiling um, T-bar for like, like it's an office building, like a drop ceiling. The side rails that actually connect on the sides where you screw into the wall. I was hoping that track would keep it up there. So no guarantee. I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks. They had to custom do it and ship it to Home Depot. Um, but I actually had to measure it for this this thing here. And hopefully it's going to work. Yeah, because I'd love to not have to wake up in the morning with this sun right in your face. Yeah, because it gets hot up here too. So it's... So the shade is like a paper shade, so I don't know how well it's going to, if it's going to even going to work. We'll see. Um, but the idea of the track is to hold the thing up from the side, you know, like here, on the track, like that. Hopefully there'll be enough space. All right, so hopefully you can see that. I'm going to put the two brackets up here, like that. At least so you don't see the metal bracket on this side. that mount then I'll get the slider thing done the uh, channel hopefully there's some wood up here to grab onto I mean there have to be like obviously some framing so I should be able to get into it yeah they must have some sort of metal flasher or something here yeah I can see the metal coming out yeah so actually I made uh taking a quick break here um yeah I, I'd redone this whole upstairs a few years ago I made videos about it like this whole thing was like a totally like gross 67 year old uh, uh, just gross drywall, old weird wood. Um, yeah, this cabin was built in the 40s. So over the years I've been kind of, I've been fixing everything and redoing everything. Little TV there, redid all this stuff. Crazy steep staircase. But I've done multiple tours of this cabin so. Just in my uh, playlist, Google Big Bear. So instead of this drywall, even I'm actually just measuring so they match here against the, the window. If you can see that, it's sort of the same. All right, first phase complete. Got a gap on that side. I might fill that with some mud, maybe. I guess it doesn't really matter. But I right, gotta make sure that even on both sides, because the rails gonna go through there. The T-bar rail, drop ceiling rail. Well, to get this as perfect as I can, I'm just using my little tin snips. I'm just cutting little slivers off. I got like one side done. Just gonna measure that, make sure it's all even. And then uh, I'm gonna drill some larger holes and you try the drywall screws. But I'll show you that. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna oversize the holes so the drywall screw will uh, sit lower. So it's not gonna interfere with this thing coming down. All right, so this might or might not make sense on camera, <clears throat> but the drill bit, I'm making it bigger because I want this thing, the, the bevel part, to sit almost flush in the metal. You'll see it. All right, hopefully that makes sense. So I didn't want it to make it so, the hole so big where we just push right through because when I screw this down, it's going to dent in a little bit too as well. All right, take a look. So I might come up and give some putty and fill in the cracks. That way you don't see anything now. It really does. I mean, you're blocking the set out now. Let me show you this real fast. Yeah, this is sort of like a paper fabric, you know? Not too heavy. So you probably don't want to pull down on it too hard. But the plastic kind of holds it together. It's not perfect, but it's probably, you know, $7 for this piece of metal. I think it's like $25 for the, for the shade. So, about 30 to 35 bucks. Where you tell me where you get it? You know. 
I think it looks pretty and good. I think the original one was like, it, you could actually get them custom made track like this and they're like 200, 200 to 300 dollars for a custom made solution. All right, cool, 30 bucks.